Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hi everyone, I hope everyone is having a great day today and uh, my name is Marie and this is Calvin and our, our channel name is Southern Country Living and uh, today uh, we're going to be working in the kitchen together and we're doing a Mexican beef and rice casserole so I'll let Calvin take it away <laughs> <laughs> well it looks like a real good recipe it's going to be easy to make uh, I'm going to be cooking it on this uh, electric countertop burner made by Cousinart I'll go ahead and turn the heat on, let it start heating up a little bit. While it's heating, Marie, I'm going to let you chop up the onions and peppers. Okay. Uh, this recipe calls for putting the onions and peppers in first before you put the beef in. So we'll let Marie chop them up. Up this way <laughs> better. The, um, these are the peppers we had. We did a video a couple of days ago and we used half of a red bell pepper and half of a green bell pepper and this is the other half of those peppers. We're going to use them in this recipe. We always try to use our leftover foods. We don't want to throw anything away if we can help it. Okay, Marie's got the peppers and onion chopped up, and the oil seems like it's pretty hot, so I'm going to go ahead and add these to it. Uh, go ahead, Marie. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. They look good. Let me sort of steer them up a little bit here. Okay, Marie, these need to saute for about four or five minutes before I add the meat to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll cut the camera here and we'll come back with you in just a minute here. Okay, these uh, peppers and onions have been sauteing for about five minutes now. They're really smelling good, aren't they, Marie? Yes, they are. And, uh, they well, great. So while I go into the next step of browning the hamburger meat, Marie's going to go ahead and cut up some uh, green onions and some tomatoes that we're going to use for a garnish to go on top. So let me add some uh, garlic. Okay, I'm going to let this uh, garlic brown for about one minute. Okay, so the garlic is starting to brown, so I'm going to go ahead and add the hamburger meat to it. And this is one pound of uh, 
hamburger meat. I'll probably need to turn my heat up on this electric eye to get it going now. But let me continue to cook this hamburger meat till it's completely brown. And as soon as it turns brown, I will drain the excess grease off of it and be back with you. Okay, the hamburger meat is about halfway browned, so just a couple more minutes and I'll drain this grease off. Okay, I've got my hamburger meat browned up now, so I'm going to go ahead and drain off this excess grease and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got the grease drained off of it, so now I'm going to add the taco seasoning to it. And I'm just using one package of the, uh, this, this is the old El Paso taco seasoning. that taco season it really smelled good didn't it yeah. okay I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in here it says to just salt and pepper it to your taste and we may have to add some more when we start to eat it we'll see then okay so now just let me stir this up and get that taco seasoning all over all the meat Marie I believe I do like cooking the peppers and onions first before I put the hamburger meat in there. Uh, it looks like they're going to be real good and tender like that. Yeah. Looks they real good. definitely look softened up good. Yeah, they're nice and softened up doing it that way. Get all that meat coated with the... Uh, taco seasoning that I can. Okay, now I'm going to add my other ingredients to it. We're going to start with one cup of yellow corn. And then one can of black beans. And then I'm going to put, this is one and a half cups of salsa, red salsa. Then, let me get a spoon. Put about a, I think it called for a spoon and a half of a tomato paste. don't think you can get too much of that, so we'll just go ahead and put that much in. What do you think, Marie? <laughs> You're doing a great job, Calvin. And then this is, uh, this is the Ortego brand fire roasted diced green chilies. It's a four ounce can. We're going to add every bit of that to it. Okay. So I'll go ahead and stir this up just a little bit before I add the other ingredients. It sure does look pretty. I hate for you to stir it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little stir. It's going to make a pan full, isn't it, Marie? Yep. Okay, turn my heat back up. I had to turn the heat down. Okay, now I'm going to add one cup of uncooked rice. And this is just regular white 
long grain rice. Then I'm going to add two cups of beef broth. So I'll get this all steered up real good. Maria looks real good. The color from the uh, black beans and the yellow corn uh, really looks good in here, don't it? Mm -hmm. Right on the edge, there's a clump of tomato sauce right there. You might want to get it stirred in okay. a little bit. Right in there? Yeah. Okay. Get all mixed up good. And I believe that what it recommends to do next is to cover it and let it come to a boil. Marie, does that look steered up, mixed up good enough for you? I believe you got it, Kellen. <laughs> okay. Couldn't make it without my Marie. <laughs> okay, let me cover it. And bring it up to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. And I'm going to let it simmer for 18 minutes. So that's going to take 18 minutes to do. Uh, we'll be back with you after that gets finished. Okay, it's came to a boil now. So I'm going to set my head over here. And i reduce this down to a two. And I'll let it cook for about 18 minutes with the lid on. And then I'll be back. Okay, it's done, Marie. Let's see how it's going to look. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat completely off. That smells really good. I love how it's smelling. Looks real good. Okay. And actually, it's not done yet. We've got one more step. Let me take it off the heat. Let me set it right there. And I'm going to put some cheese on top of it. I said put about two cups of cheese on it. Okay, that's about half the bag. And put the lid back on and let that cheese sit there and melt. As soon as that cheese sits there and melts, we will uh, put the tomatoes and green onions on it for garnish. Okay. okay. I love how it smells, didn't you? Yeah. Mmm, that smells wonderful. Mm. Okay, let me put these tomatoes on in the center of it. some green onions on it. Okay, Kevin, it really looks good. I think we're ready to eat. Okay, let me come around there and we'll get us some. Okay. Okay. Marie, how much do you want? Uh, just a serving, not real big, but you know, medium sized. Oh, I love how that looks. Mm -hmm. And I love how it smells. It smells great. Got lots of cheese on it, Marie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I got cheese all over your plate there. I'll get you some tomatoes to put on top. You can also put sour cream on this if whoever is making it. You sure could. Come over this way, Marie, so you'll be in the camera shot good. And there's your roll to go with it. And I'll let you do a taste test first if you want to try it. It may be very hot though, so be careful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the taste test. Mmm. 
That is really delicious. I'm going to get some of this rice and see how good it cooked. Okay. Looks great. Mm-hmm. It's really delicious. Ready? Let me get a plate and I'll get me some and see how I like it. Very cheesy. Okay. Go forward. That's very good, Marie. I like all the uh, black beans and corn in it. Marie found this recipe. I think you did a very good job on finding this one, Marie. Yeah, I think it, this is a really good recipe. Okay. Well, let us get some pictures of this and we'll finish the video out here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think we're going to really enjoy this, don't you, Marie? Yeah, it's, a, it's really delicious. When it made a big pan full of uh, food, this will probably feed about four people without any problems. Mm -hmm. So we may have to share this with some of our uh, children, might we, Marie? Yeah. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. This is a one-pot meal, too, so it won't mm -hmm. be too much cleanup. So everyone have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin said, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started to think. It's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day Changes.